Hi Aries, welcome to your reading. Let's see the energies coming towards you this week. Yes, and what are they bringing with them? Yes. Let's see if we can tap into the energies coming in towards my Aries. What's already around my Aries this week? What's going on? Show us the energies, please. Where's the mindset? I can't stop thinking about you. Somebody can't stop thinking about you. Oh, guys, wait, 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 what did I hear? I can't stand the distance between us. The distance, either that's a physical or emotional or mental distance. I'm hearing, guys, what is this? It's, give me a minute, it's trying to formulate, the. I'm trying to get it formulated, what, what it's saying to me here. Something about, I fumbled, I fumbled, I said the wrong they, somebody said something that was taken in the wrong way. And energy between us call, went straight out, out from each other, the distance. Some, something was said and was taken the wrong way. I don't know if that's you or them. Mm. <clears throat> okay. So, but yeah, it was a misfire. Somebody fumbled on something they were trying to say. And it came out the wrong way and was taken the wrong way. So, ooh, let's keep going here. Let's get uh, their perception of you guys, their thoughts, their feelings, the opinion of the energies around you, when their perception of you. <laughs> ooh, pop, we've got pretend. Mm. Behavior doesn't match true feelings. Ooh. Pretend. Mm -hmm. What else? Suspicious. Suspicious. Did the person say something? I feel like it's on maybe on them. Or maybe you said something that they took it the wrong way. I don't know. The suspicious. Wow. Motives are not clear. Let's say your perception of them. Your thoughts, your feelings on them. Your opinion about their energy and what's going on with them. You got them overly confident. <laughs> overly confident. Oh, I just saw the King of Pentacles as a Taurus or Earth energy. Uh, did that something they said made them sound narcissistic or, or self-centered lies? Telling telling you what you want to hear, made up stories, covering up tracks. Ooh, egotistical. Like I, I don't know. Let me slow down because words are just flying out of my mouth without me even thinking about it, guys. <laughs> it might be a person's energy. Bottom of the deck, we got reclusive. Ooh. Solitary hermit-like. Mm. Not so much that they're reclusive, because I'm picking up somebody's energy that they say things without thinking it through and how it's going to come across. And it always comes across in a way they didn't mean for it to. Superficial. Up underneath it. Uh, and as soon as, as soon as they realize... Damn, I put my foot in my mouth. They go into this mode of, you know, isolating. Of, wow. Mm, okay, let's keep going here. Let's find some more of the energies uh, with this person in my Aries. Where's the energy at when it comes to this connection? What's, what's happening in it? We've got a retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Yeah, somebody somebody retreated back. That one has us retreating together, but no, <laughs> no. Who, you know, is it your energy? I'm not sure. Is, is somebody that feels like they always say the wrong thing? It comes across in a way that they didn't mean for it to. Hmm. What else? We've got forgiving and learning. Forgiving and learning. I need to go one more on this. Let's see the center energy of this. Where is it at? Past life relationship. I've known you before. Could be. Could be. You know, I'm. they feel a familiarity with you. But it's more of... How do I put this? I'm always doing this. I'm always saying the wrong thing. It always comes across wrong. That's why it's so familiar of they, you know. Letting go of control issues is on the bottom of the deck. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. So the person is withdrawn, drawn back some um, 
or either you have drawn back, both of you may have, you know, retreated away from each other. But like I said, it was a misfire, a fumble on somebody's part. What is it? What is it, guys? What is it that people sometimes will do and it was mistaken? Whatever was said was mistaken as uh, an insult disguised as a compliment. It come across like that, but in an actuality underneath, in the real energy of it, the person was not intending to insult or come across the way they come across. They were trying to be authentic, but I almost feel like I've got the energy of a someone that's got childlike, innocent, pure mind of, it just comes out all the time wrong like a child you know a child will say what you know just bluntly say things um that can be mistaken for something not so great hmm. let's see their energies this week coming towards you any actions that they were hoping to take or actions they're hoping you'll take towards them Let's get the energies, though, of what's going on in y'all's psyche and your fields this week when it comes to each other. Oh, we've got a nine of pentacles, somebody standing out alone trying to stay in the comfort zone of, oh my God, because things are really confusing for them right now. And they, they um, this one does have, have your person's energy stand, you know, or th them standing back this week of trying to figure out how to fix a mess, how to explain, what to do, what should I do. It's very chaotic and confusing. Got the devil energy, the inner demons of, damn, I always do this. I always say something stupid. I want to say stupid. But I think it's more out of naive innocence. Yeah, of, yeah they probably have a habit of, Feeling awkward the way, the way they try to express things never comes out right. Mm, okay. Two of Pentacles energy. Show me the off balance energy here. What are they juggling? That new love and Empress energy. Show me the Empress energy. What's it? She's a, a growth energy. Uh, uh, what this is showing me, guys, is the person they are trying to stay focused in on. Um, this is Scorpio energy for anybody that, uh, is looking for signs here. We've got Capricorn also coming in. And like I said, I picked up the earth energy. So, yeah. Mm. New love has overtook their mind. That's all they can think about. All they can think about. And they're trying to stay in balance with what do I need to do? What do I need to focus on every day instead of I made a, I put my foot in my mouth. <laughs> oh. Mm. The Empress could also um Empress could also be representing your energy of them saying it's really hard to focus on anything other than I mean I messed up. I messed up. Let's see your energy uh with them this way. You got a ten of cups. Oh my god. I got a sweet feeling over that one, <laughs> Aries. What are y'all doing? I got a fuzzy feeling on that one. Hair font. Mm. Strength card. Five of Pentacles. Mm. With your energy towards them this week, it is showing. Ooh, world card. Let's start over. Let's do this again. Successful conclusions. <laughs> Successful moving into a new phase. The one thing it's showing me is you you grasp you grasp this person. It, it's like I know and I, I know they didn't mean for it to sound that way <laughs> or come out that way because we got all, you know these major arcanas on you poised and graceful. Mm -hmm. You understand you know what how they're feeling and stuff how awkward they are now feeling. Uh, this one is like compassion. It's coming across the Ten of Cups is compassion of like, you know, I'm pretty dang sure this is somebody I would be happy with <laughs> and could have, you know, through the ups and downs, this total fulfillment and happiness. But I know they're sitting in that energy right now. of, Oh, God, 
what did I say and why did I say it that way and why did I do that? They're kicking themselves. Oh, let's see. Is is this person, is there any kind of action going to be taken towards each other in the physical realm? Any action? Any action? Oh, yes, there is. There's some kind of action. We're moving towards it with the three of wands, sun card, happiness, uh, ace of pentacles. We definitely, and something, we, we are interacting this week. And like I said, um, your energy seems to fully get, we've got the full card here also. Your energy seems to understand completely how they're feeling and, you know, over what was said. Yeah. But we're bringing the closeness back. Whatever action it is, is opening up communications again and bringing us uh, back into a connected energy flowing together. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and we're using... Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, speak as one. Let's get your energetic conversations. Your person's energy, what's it saying towards you right now? This is for my Aries person. And guys, remember, this is the higher self energy conversation going on. I am fine by myself, but we are better together. Yeah, this, like I said, nine of, nine of pentacles has a person standing in freedom, independence in their comfort zone, but not necessarily liking it. Mm -hmm. We're better together. <laughs> oh, your energy saying back to them, running and chasing is confusing, burdensome, and non-productive. Let's not do it. Let's not do it. Oh, it's like you saying, you know, just be you. It's okay. <laughs> I get it. It's okay. I love seeing the Aries. I love that for y'all. I got and like I said, I got this warm, fuzzy feeling that come over me, this relief of, oh God, you're a beautiful person when I got to your energy, Aries. So that was amazing. You guys, I hope it was helpful. Y'all stay blessed. Hi Taurus, welcome to your reading. Let's see the energies coming in towards you this week. What are they bringing with them? <laughs> this is for my Taurus. The energies coming in and come swirling around because I've seen it swirling around my Taurus. Where is it at? Show us, talk to us, bring it out. What's that energy saying? I still feel you with me. Uh oh, Taurus. I still feel you with me. Bottom of the deck, though. I had to go. We were holding each other back. Uh oh. I had to go. We were holding each other back. Bottom of the deck. Energy. That's the deeper shadow. Mm -hmm. Up under somebody's intentions and things like that. But I still feel you with me. Oh, felt like you were holding me back or things were holding me back, but. Maybe I wanted to be held back and didn't realize it. Did somebody just have an epiphany moment? A wake up call? A revelation? Oh, <laughs> uh, you know, I was sitting and thinking, you hold me back. This is holding me back. Maybe the hell I wanted to be held back. Yes. <laughs> Let's dive in through some more. I want to see their perception of your energy right now. And y'all know it's their thoughts, their feelings, and how they're reading your energy, what they're formulating about your energy, what's going on with you. Casual counterparts. Oh, I just stuck it back into that, didn't I? We went back all the way to friends with benefits, maybe. When, dog, I didn't know that. Uh -huh. What else? And uh, I pushed it into get, making you believe I had no intentions. Ooh, and I thought I had no intentions, but there's been a revelation. <laughs> oh, it struck me quick, didn't it? Lightning bolt moment. Yes. Your opinion, your perception of their energy, please. Taurus is they vanished. Vanished. Yeah, you just abrupt disappearance and they were very fearful Ooh, i think you get them though suspicious motives are not clear puzzle pieces not fitting together dishonest hidden activity i don't think it, the dishonest hidden activity is was pinging too much for me but if it does for you take it mm -hmm. but it's it is looking closer what 
why, why is this person, why are they running? What's their motives? It's not clear because they come across as all of a sudden, you know, it's a casual thing. It's casual uh, and no real intentions. But like I said, it's very confusing, not just on your energy of what the hell is going on with them. It's very confusing for them because, like I said, the undercurrent energies, ah, uh, I'd be hold, be restrictive, held back, that kind of thing. I don't want a commitment. I don't want something serious. And then to wake up and go, yeah, I did. <laughs> I wanted to be held back. I wanted to be tamed a little here. Yes, I did. What was wrong with me? Oh, let's see a little bit more of this energy, Taurus. <laughs> oh, guys, do y'all know what it's like? I mean, we all know what it's like, you know, to think we know what the hell we want. I know what I want and what I don't want. And then all of a sudden, you know, the lightning bolt hits the top of the tower and you're like, in the blink of an eye, you're going, I wanted that. What's wrong with me? <laughs> <laughs> very confusing but that's human nature isn't it in the connection for Taurus and this person poop oh we've got separation yeah because like I said it, they they evidently maybe just vanished mm -hmm. what else is coming out engagement oh they vanished when it started get to get serious mm -hmm. but guess what the desire has now turned to can we get serious and take it to a higher level of commitment i i think i want the commitment now what else they worried worried down the center of that energy is did did i ruin it have i ruined it do i have a chance would you even believe that <laughs> i'm coming back totally in a different energy Oh, children and children, your love life is being affected by children. With that being, being on the bottom of the deck, either there's children involved in that boat, those kids, their well being is being factored in, or there's the desire, the uncertainty on a, the, the desire for kids. So hopefully that makes sense to you. Let's see any actions that will transpire this week or they are hoping will transpire actions on their part or actions they're hoping you'll have or take towards them. Let's just see the energy and, and what it's formulating in this energy. We've got a nine of pentacles uh, that... I run freedom, independence. I don't think I wanted it. Uh -uh. I should have stuck around is what's going on in your person's energy. That 10 of wands is persevering, pushing through. Why couldn't I see? Why couldn't I see? Did I get cold feet all of a sudden? Uh, and it took me running for a minute to wake up and realize, you know, I want this. <laughs> the chariot. Yeah. How do I run back now? Oh, will you have open arms and be receptive of me if I come back? What else? Sun card, and I'm coming back with something different. I'm showing you the real real me. Oh, but I'm feeling un defeated. Defeated the shadow energy on that five of swords. Um, did I already ruin it? How, but how bad did I hurt your feelings? Would you even believe me? If I opened up and talked to you when I come back, they're coming back in a different energy uh, and it's going to be totally different from what? Because it's going to cause suspicion of why. What are you doing? Mm, your energy. Got a nine of swords. Needless stress, anxiety they've caused you. You on the fence about it. Two of swords. Two of pentacles. I'm trying to focus in on other things in my life and put it behind me because your ass run and I'm trying to stay graceful and poised. Leo energy uh, in this in this whirlwind of emotional mental storm I've got going on. I'm trying to stay focused. Uh, you're in your head a lot. Mm -hmm. Libra energy on on your energy, Taurus. Of you know, I'm I'm not investing my heart. My heart's yeah, I'm going to have to use my head on this one. 
Because we've been in a battle. What do I have control over and not have control over? Do I even want to battle? And we're thinking about uh, tangible things in life. Like resources, jobs, that kind of thing. What do I, you know, read, we're trying to redirect our focus away from how much this person has already, we already invested heart into them. So we're st trying to stay in the head. Yep, we've been grieving for a minute on the bottom of the deck and not realizing bottom of the deck energy anytime I'm doing readings for and, you know, couple connections, that's both of your energies. You've both been grieving and waking up from it. Mm -hmm. And it was a sudden. And then we got a four of wands. I should have been there. Plans didn't work out the way that I wanted them to. And now all of a sudden, guess what? Pisces, I want to offer my heart to you. I know it's foolish on my part. We got the fool up under here and the devil card. I'm... I know it's foolish of me, and you probably wouldn't even believe me that I really do want something solid with you. I want to level up with you, but my run, my blink when I run, my, yeah, you probably won't believe me and take me serious. Mm. Let's get the energetic conversation. We're using Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, Speak as One. This is your higher self energetic conversations. Uh, going on between you. Let's see what they're saying to you. What is, what is their energy trying to get you to read? Running and chasing is confusing, burdensome, and non-productive. Let's not do it. Mm -hmm. Your energy saying back to them because you'd be like, you the one that run. You the one that run. <laughs> I accept things the way they are. Oh, you in this energy of, you know, I accept I'm accepting things the way they are, and I'm not taking action until I'm secure and not, and got something clear here. Bottom of the day, to be stuck in a lower vibration is not healthy. We must ri raise our consciousness out of the root chakra and up to the higher realms. Ooh, energy between us. Of course, I hope that was helpful, guys. <laughs> Y'all stay blessed. Hey, Gemini's. Welcome to your reading. Let's see what energy is coming towards you and what are they bringing with them. <laughs> yeah, hopefully we can pick it up. Guys, let's jump in. Let's see the predominant energies. Oh, okay. Hang on. Something's coming in. Let me, tr let me translate this. Energy. Mm. Okay, I got some, the word. What? What is it? Um, umpire? Umpire? Or is it? Yeah, it's umpire. I was getting ready to say, is that empire? No, it's umpire. Like, um, referee. Huh. You're, you're allowing someone or someone's, plural, or something to try to enforce rules in your life, your game of life. It's time for you to stop. Maybe that's a message from spirit. Okay. Yeah. Quit allowing. You don't need an umpire. Somebody umpiring on you. Refereeing your life. Telling you what, what you should do and what you shouldn't be doing. Just trust you already know what to do. Okay. That was a message probably from spirit, your higher self. Yeah. Okay, let's get back to the energies, predominant energies uh, coming in towards my Geminis, swirling around my Geminis right now. Can we get that person's energy, please? Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, we got something on the bottom. Oh, guys, really? Okay, I was selfish. You were not my priority. I was selfish. You were not my priority. We're getting three things here. Things got messy. And then the bottom, because that one's sticking out. I spent way too much time waiting for you. Waiting for you. Energy could be flipped on that one. Uh, of where they would be acknowledging they made... You, you waited on them. You waited 
waited, waited, catered to them. You catered to them. Better word is catered because the waiting come across as waiter, like a restaurant <laughs> waiter or waitress. You catered to them. Ooh, Gemini's okay. <laughs> yeah, let's keep going here. This person's energy. Can we see their perception of Gemini? Their thoughts, their feelings, and the opinion that formulates around those thoughts and feelings about my Gemini's. Not feeling that, guys. Hang on. No. There's a lot trying to come out, but going back in. Lack of self-improvement. Mm. And love bombing. Love bombing. Just with that one, guys. Their, their opinion of you. Or their perception of of you when they read read your energy is you don't have good healthy boundaries. Mm -hmm. The lack of self improvement is you not stepping up in empowering yourself because you fall for love bombing really easy is what I picked up. You you believe you you romanticize you believe anything they tell you. Dysfunctional is on the bottom of the deck. Let's do turnabout fair play on this person's <laughs> energy, guys. Jonas, am I referee in here? I could be, but it's only fair. Let's balance the scale. I am Libra rising. We have to balance it out. Your perception of their energy. What's going on? Vanish. Mm, abrupt disappearance. They they come and go as they want or they think they can. No reason or explanation. They don't explain their self. They just love bomb. <clears throat> what else on Gemini's perception? You also feel like they're a coward, unable to face issues head on. When things become confrontational, more than likely you feel like they just vanish. They shut down. They don't talk. They withdraw. Bottom of the deck, we got downward spiral. Slowly losing interest, retreating back, situation is out of control. Bottom of the deck, energy, guys, and most of the time... Because I'm reading for two people's energy is picking up both your energy, something you have in common. Mm. Spiraling downward, interest being lost. Let's keep going here. Let's get a little bit more of this information on this energy <laughs> and the connection it's between my Gemini and this person. What's going on? Can we get mm, what, what trying to come out? Mm, a need for heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Get real and authentic with each other. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations doesn't always mean, and it doesn't come in the form of love bombing, guys. It comes in the form, let me get real with you. Let me tell you what's on my mind. Whether you like it or not, are you willing to hear me? <laughs> that kind of thing. Oh, okay, Jonah. Oh, and what else? Separations on the horizon. Mm, mm. The one thing that I'm picking up from this is where I was saying on this coward behavior of when things get confrontational for the person or they feel like you're confronting something, what do they do? They banish the separation. So uh, we might this week attempt uh -oh, what fell out. Trying to call in your soulmate. Your prayers and affirmations and visualizations help bring you together. Uh, that's what we're hoping for. But the bottom of the deck actually has religious factors. Mm -hmm. Differences. Differences in believing. Our way of believing how things should be. Closed off. From, and, and not open, flexible, adaptable. I don't think that's on your part. Because I got you. And from their perspective, you a little too much flexible adaptable you you're willing to forgive forget really quick on things uh it shows your pure heart mm -hmm. it's good heart but on this person's part is mm -mm, mm -mm. for some reason they when they have to own up to something they feel like they're being slammed or told the truth about their self they they run they shut down they run there's a lot of differences closed off here in um think of salt and pepper black and white differences between us and it's really hard in this connection to find the gray area the mixture when you mix salt and pepper together you get a, you know a grayness yes it's hard to find the middle ground with 
with this person because they are blocked from it. Mm -hmm. They run. They run. Mm -hmm. I'm fooling with the wrong deck, guys. Let me get this deck over here. Let's find out a little bit about the energies this week. Any actions or desires towards actions uh, from this person on their part towards you? Any desires? Any actions they would like to take? Or not take or want you to take whatever the energy is this week they are holding back they're self-restrictive mm, what do i have control over what do i not have control over the one thing the one thing is telling me they're holding to a pattern of vanish when i'm confronted with something king of swords they'll go straight into their head that aquarius energy and they will find loopholes around what you're saying and find a way to turn it into, you know, it's, you know, it's not my fault. <laughs> magician card, feeling the shadow on the magician. Yeah, they're disappointed, feeling left out in the cold by the Empress energy. Um, the magician card, when I say I feel a shadow on it, they're trickster energy that it, they become manipulative. What can I pull out on you to get the atten the uncomfortableness off of me? So they may do the same thing they've always done, a repeat pattern. Habit can be on a nine of wands of I'm doing the same destructive, unproductive, unhelpful thing over and over. So in their energies this week, not much change going on. I want to see the Empress card. Let's talk about that Empress card. What are they saying with that? Queen of Heart. Ooh, Gemini is with that one, guys, because they're throwing you out as, you know, a Cancer Queen of Hearts. You get them. You understand them. That kind of thing. Mm. But they are feeling they they are feeling the tension, um, and they're they're going to repeat. They they'll do a cycle on us this week of react the, the same way they normally do. Hermit mode, Re, retreat. Let me use my brain. How can I turn this around to where I don't have to acknowledge and take responsibility? Let's see your energies this week with them. Any interactions? We've got uh, three of cups. Six of Cups. For some of us, I, the reason I kept looking at, at the Empress, for some of us, there are children involved. And they, the, you know, that factors into a lot of things for us. But uh, your energy seems to be showing friends, celebrations, good times. What we're looking for, you know, just lighthearted. Let, let me put down some stress. And if we if we're socializing this week, it may be with friends from that we've been friend, friends with for a long time. What else? We've got a seven of pentacles. Hmm. Confirm that impression of the yeah, okay, yeah. We're rebalancing that this week is showing us actually either we're reaching out or, or we're just getting together with friends that we've been friends for a long time. Uh, our kids may know each other, that kind of thing, because like I said, I, I did, it did run my mind that there's somehow children involved, but we're, we're showing, it's showing you your energy this week of, I know I'm bad. I'm really impatient with this. I'm overdoing, trying to, to get something to, to come to fruition, so to say. And, you know, I'm obsessing on it out of my own uh, want of something to, to go the way I need it to go. Mm -hmm. The clarifier on it is we're balancing it, trying to balance out this week of to remove our attention off of, and just let it do what it's going to do. Just let, help me redirect my focus here. And we're redirecting with kids and friends. Mm -hmm. Let me come back into balance. Where's my truth? Because I can't see things clearly right now. And I don't think I'm weighing matters clearly because I feel impatient. Got a seven of wands. Hmm. Standing up and being heard. I mean, we definitely blocking this person's energy um, emotionally and mentally, guys, because we're in that uh, Queen of Swords energy. Tell me more on the Queen. Three of Pentacles, the plan going forward, and I want to move quick. Either it's going to work or it's not going to work, and I want to know if it, right now, quick, that quick, blink your eyes. I need to, need to figure out how I'm moving forward because I am so tired of this being stuck. Uh-huh. 
and boundaries, guys. We, like I said, we are putting up a, a shield against this person's on on an energetic level, possibly a you know physical level, blocking them, just ignoring their texts, things like that, or just ignoring them altogether. Of trying to redirect our focus so that we can get out of this energy, this stagnant kind of energy on them. Of, of wanting something that just doesn't seem to want to manifest for us in the connection. So we are redirecting, uh, using our head, feminine energy of, you know, <laughs> nope, uh-uh, you ain't, you ain't coming to my throne this week. But you are wanting a plan and you're wanting things to move quicker. You want to make a decision quicker and you're moving more into your head and away from your heart about it does have us juggling uh -huh, two of pentacles acclimating new energy it feels off a little bit to us uh unfamiliar new look guys okay hitting the, the two energies we're reforming energy it's or clearing energies but it does have us trying to make decisions uh -huh. where's my head what's what's in my best interest crossroad energy and realizing we've got to pull away for a minute trying to stay poised and graceful but also fighting our own inner demons and the inner demon would be on the seven of pentacles of patience even though i'm tired of being patient we got a page of wands wanting a new direction. We got more. I'll look at all the pages up under here. Page of wands. What do I really want? What's in my best interest on a physical level, tangible level, but also what's what am I being called to? What do I truly, truly am I passionate about? Which direction do I want to take? Uh, and then we are installed energy, stalled energy a little bit here of how to move forward. Uh, three of Wands is a young, young empress energy of where are my possibilities now? What's out there for me now if I choose to do something different? So we are in a stalemate energy um, with this person. And it's like I said, that they're going to do the same thing they've all, they have that you know them to do from what the cards are saying. They're going to withdraw hermit mode. Uh, when if they feel any kind of confrontation whatsoever mm -hmm. and heart to heart conversations with them is hard to have because they will back away we're using a divine feminine divine masculine speak as one what is their energy conveying to you i'm going to take everything i learned here and transform it into something else something higher Ooh, retreating Ooh, are they mm-hmm Let's see what your energy is conveying back to them. What's in Gemini saying back? I have no regrets. I would do it again with you. I have no regrets. Your energy is saying shuffle again, please. <laughs> shuffle again. Okay. Our interactions gave me an opportunity to heal my deep core wounds. Ooh. And it was not my intention to hurt you in any way triggering the wounds even unintentionally is part of this healing journey oh look at you like i said this week you you're leveling up you are pulling away distracting yourself in order to formulate a plan who's really in my plan who do i want in this blueprint with me going forward because i'm getting ready to move the energy quick what am i going to do Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay. Huh. Gemini's. I hope that was helpful, guys. Y'all stay blessed. Hi, Cancers. Welcome to your reading. Let's see what energy is coming towards you this weekend. What are they bringing with them? What are they bringing with them? What am I hearing? Spirit, spirit here lately has been chiming in every time I start reading. Uh-huh okay for cancer your beliefs are right for you and everyone else has their beliefs and that their, their beliefs are right for them hmm. your beliefs are right for you while everybody else's beliefs are right for them as individuals mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what did I just hear Let's don't trespass on each other's beliefs. We're either in sync or we're not. 
let it be. Okay. Let's come back to the energies coming towards my Cancers this week. Energies coming towards my Cancers. What are they bringing? What's the mindset? Where's this person's energy? Please. Pop. We've got, please answer me. I have to talk to you. Somebody wanting to talk to you. Want an answer on something. Bottom of the deck. I can't picture you with someone else. Oh, I can't picture you with someone else. This is what's motivating the person of wanting to talk. Please answer me. Is there someone else? Oh, let's get the person's perception of you and your energy right now. Let's see what they are thinking and perceiving. What's the opinion of your energies right now? Not feeling that. Hang on. Their opinion. Oh, apology. Admitting wrongdoing. That might be their desire. You're choosy, you're choosy, you're nitpicky, but we're getting three here, and you're a little too private this week, you're a little bit too private this week, mm -hmm. or last week, or you just, in general, uh, are private when it comes to this person, mm -hmm. finding fault in everything, so they are showing us that you, you're nitpicky, you find fault in a lot of, in them, let's put it that way, apology, Wanting forgiveness? No. Nope. Mm -mm. I feel like the person is trying to say, you you, you apologize, <laughs> but it's not sincere. You're like, you know, <clears throat> you're blunt about something and then you go, sorry, but not sorry. At the same time, sorry, but not sorry. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, okay. But you don't, you don't open up a lot with this person. See your, your perception of their energy. Cancer's perceptions of this person. Oh, they play it. Mm -hmm. Love triangle. Complicated mess or confusing. Mm -hmm. String alone. No exclusivity. Oh, what else? Love bombing. Ow, oh, no wonder. Silent treatments on the bottom of the deck. Uh, the fact, anything on the bottom of the deck, when I read for two people that are connected somehow, that's combined energy, something we both bring into, into the connection. Uh, silent treatment, giving each other silent treatment instead of actually getting real and having real conversations. And there's no wonder because you're private here and you feel guarded because you feel like this person's there's, you know, it's, they're a complicated mess. You know, whether they, they are playing, you know, got a lot of options, keeping their options open. Or if the love triangle actually has just outside in interference, like um, the influence of a family or friend that's up in that business and up in your business when you when you're around this person, uh, and you also feel like they're not authentic with things uh, that they just you know love bomb when it's convenient for them. Ooh, okay. Let's keep going. Let's find out some more here. This is for my cancers. The connection with this person. What's well, more of the energies in the connection? Let's do some of the predominant energies around this connection for cancer. We've got you deserve love. You are lovable. Ooh, it, with that one, guys, we may be doing things where we don't feel like, we're, you know, whatever's going on between us makes us feel like there's not love being expressed here. Because we're trying to call in a soulmate. We're trying to be positive about this. I feel like I need to go one more because we're going to get two more. We've got codependency. Mm -hmm. Addictions are affecting uh, your romantic life and the codependency, like I said, for some reason on this love triangle, I needed to express that it wasn't just, you know, somebody that's out sleeping around with a bunch of people or keeping options open. It may be more of a codependency of, you know, family, friend, influence, interference, and new love, new love. Wow. New connection. Uh, religious factors on the bottom of the deck. Our, our beliefs, uh, our way of doing things aren't, aren't in alignment with each other. Mm -hmm. Our upbringing, our spiritual path, that kind of thing. We're out of alignment. It's like, you know, a clash. Are you a new love <laughs> that family is leery of or friends, tribe, something like, mm, I don't know. 
Let's go to the energies, guys. Let's see the energies this week. What it's bringing out. Their energy this week. Any action? Any desire to take action? What's going on with their energy? We've got a page of swords. They're definitely wanting to talk. But what else is sticking out here? Tower. Tower. Tell me about the tower. Tell me about what that tower is representing. Queen of Swords. Libra energy. Libra energy. Mm. Eight of Pentacles is about perfectionist, being a perfectionist. Friends and family that chimed in, wow. Okay, something something has took place in the connection where the challenge, the the abruptness, the the you know interference is somebody cold, could be mother, friend, sibling, that kind of thing that expects perfectionism. And they chimed in because it's tribe around us. It was supposed to be, you know, a happy. Let me show. Let me let me bring my new boo around, my new bae, and have you meet them. And it didn't turn out so well. Uh uh. Your energy, your energy back, cancers towards this person. Oh, you like? No, I'm off and running. Sagittarius energy. I got my boundaries up. Mm hmm. I'm only interested in people in my own tribe that has my back. Uh -huh. uh, that's all I'm open to. My wishes. Yep. And, ooh. There was a curiosity. Tell me more about the page. Strength card, inner demons, and heartbreak. Okay. Yeah. Star card, uh, the question of the future and envisioning the future or destiny. Where is it taking me? I'm not sure it's going to be with this person because that's the undercurrent energy going on. Because we definitely had your energy of, nope, not doing it. I'll go that direction if you know instead of the other direction because I got my boundaries up when it comes to family. You know, I'm open. I'm receptive. I'm a light-hearted person. I love the Nine of Cups. Is my arms are wide open and receptive. I come out and was hoping that's what would happen when, yeah, but they didn't really like me, did they? They had some opinions and X sort of hurt feelings here, but I'm going to rise above it because I ain't going, I ain't running to it. That kind of thing. It's just like, well, yeah, mm -mm. we ain't doing it. We ain't doing it. Mm -mm. Okay, because, yeah, remember, you deserve love. And we we opened and gave it a shot. And it's like, nope, there was no love. Let's see what you're saying to each other on an energetic level. Mm -hmm. What are you communicating? Divine feminine, divine masculine. Speak as one. Let's get this person's energy first. What are they saying on an energetic level? We're getting to. I honor our time together and release you to your highest and best. In so doing, I release myself as well. But what's coming with it? I will always desire you no matter how things appear. Mm -hmm. You're conveying back. What's your energy conveying back to them? My heart has ached for you so many times. But after the rain, there is always a rainbow. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's almost like saying, you know, I cared. I really did. I gave it my all. But we done. <laughs> the rainbow. I'm hitting my rainbow. Mm -hmm. Cancers, I hope that was helpful, guys. Y'all stay blessed. Hey, Leos. Welcome to your reading. Let's see if we can tap into the energies coming towards you this week. And <laughs> what are they bringing in with them? Yes. Let's get a word from Spirit first, guys. <laughs> yes. Spirit is coming in lately on the readings. What am I hearing for you? Your inner critic is a harsh taskmaster. Ooh. Well, yeah, just, <laughs> you're putting high demands on yourself and you're very self-critical. Ooh. Unrealistic expectations and demands on yourself to live up to something. 
You're harsh on yourself. Mm. Okay, let's come into the energies. Let's tap into the energies coming towards my Leos this week. This week. Be kind to yourself. You wouldn't talk to other people the way you talk to yourself in your head about yourself. Stop doing that. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Let's get the person's energy. Coming in. Predominant energy. That's going to stick out this week. For my Leos. Where's it at, please? Pop. Mm. Oh, I'll see you in court. Bottom of the deck. A new person looks like... My new person looks like you. Oh, we got an ex that's sending some energy. <laughs> uh, hardcore energy at you. I'll see you in court. I'll see you in court. Mm. Is that a threat? Mm. Ew. Or is it just them... See, let me get back at you. I'm still mad at you. <clears throat> Ow. Because my new person looks like you. Let's see their perception of your energy, their thoughts, their feelings, and then the opinion that forms around what they're perceiving about you. Ooh, we've got you, nitpicky. You find you find fault in everything with you superficial, too. You put on an act. You try to make everything look like it's okay when it's not okay. You superficial. Let's do turnabout is fair play. Let's find your perception of them and their energy. Let's see what's going there. Where's my Leo's perception of this person, their energy? Oh, I'm sorry, but not sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but not sorry. Hmm. And insincerity and misleading false impressions, not being upfront with holding truth. One more guy's coming out. Person wears a mask. Like I said, I'm sorry, but at the same time, I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. They're inauthentic and they do get on your nerves. Mm -hmm. But they put it on you. If you you get on their nerves, and because you, they think you are always nitpicking on them, finding faults, they will have a list of annoyances to throw back at you. Bottom of the deck is combined energy. There's emotionally void, acting cold and distance, detached from true feelings. Heart space is blocked. When it comes to the connection, that's both of our energies, by the way, on the, when it comes on the bottom of the deck. So, yeah, our, our heart space is not open to this person and theirs is not open to us because of this up here is, let me get revenge. I'm trying to figure out how to get back and jab at you a little bit here. Let's get a little more of the energies here. Let's go to the more predominant, but also the higher level energies if we can. If there was any, where, where was that? There's trust issues. We've always had trust issues in this situation. Lack in faith. Career and finances were a factor in, in the connection somehow. Honeymoon effect. Honeymoon effect. Uh, we were, yeah, we were hoping, 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 uh, we could get the honeymoon effect, the trust going. Yeah, like I said, this is not, we could have, we could have enjoyed, uh, you know, holiday time together, the bliss of it, but we were more of waiting for it, waiting for it to happen. Bottom of the deck is we do have release your ex. The time has come to clear your energies with each other yes okay it's gonna take a minute because your person's pissed off and mad and angry and wants to get back at you let's go ahead and see the energies this week any actions or desires for actions they would like to take a little bit just you know i can't guarantee they'll take any action but we are getting to see what's formulating in their head in their energies about what they would like oh Six of Wands energy, guys. I'm, you left them crippled a little bit, guys. Mm, hang on. Let's see what comes next. I want to see this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm feeling them both. Empress energy. Oh, there's three. Wishes. Chariot card. Feeling left out in the cold. 
bottom of the deck confirms what my impression was on this one. They are talking about you to someone else. It could be, you know, a friend, a mother, something like that. I don't know. They are talking because their their wishes is to get somebody to side with them. We've got two sides going. Your 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 side, their side, and they're hoping this person will, they can convince this person to be um, on their team. <laughs> yes, and they're going to try to play on pity, pity to get the person to be on their team. Mm -hmm. So expect that. From the from this energy, uh, it you know, and I, I don't know, you know, for some of us that could be you, the Empress energy, uh, kids. Do you have kids? Things like that. But they would be trying to people they know that are close to you, that kind of thing. They would be trying to get pity, get them to side with them this week. Friends and family, tribe, that kind of thing. Bottom of the deck confirmed it. Let's go ahead and reshuffle and we'll see your energies uh, when it comes to this person this week. What is your energies, desires, any actions? What's going on with your energy that's formulating when this connection? Ooh, Gemini Knight of Swords. You're up for the challenge. Yes, you are. But you're trying to be really mature about it and not be triggered. Ooh, the patience. I don't, impatience. I don't have patience. I'm moving on to my North Star. Let's see what the North Star is. Ooh, you're doing something new. You stepped into something new. You could be with someone else. Ah, yeah, someone that's a little more stable. We've got a Taurus uh, or Earth energy that's coming in for you, Leo. Um... So, yeah, I got a feeling you, you've already stepped into something new and you ain't got time. Your energy ain't got time. But, but there's part of you that do, does love this jousting or jousting, however you say it, back and forth with this person in the past. Because this is like, ooh, yeah, I know I could cut them down. Oh, I know I get up under their skin. But you're trying to, you, you quickly uh, bring the emotional calmness back into into that energy of um, you know i don't have patience or time or energy with this person because i'm focused in on my north star where i'm going forward and i'm not going backwards because i'm releasing the x i've got someone that's a little more loyal and stable and somebody i clicking with a little bit better Emperor energies on the bottom of the deck when you got two masculine energies because it is the bottom of the deck It's both of your energies when you got two Aries. What do they do? They butt heads <laughs> They butt heads until they knock each other out, but you're refusing to butt heads this week Because mm -mm, you you got something else going on Let's go ahead and get your higher self energetic conversation divine feminine divine masculine speak as one let's see what's coming out on your person's energy what are they saying from the higher self not the lower not the ego we might not get that but we're going to aim for it what are they saying on energetic level i love you unconditionally even if you don't even if you don't understand what that means i also love myself in this way mm -hmm. Oh, you never understood. <laughs> you never understood. I loved you unconditionally, but you'd be like, no, you weren't. You were nitpicky as hell. <laughs> and they were only nitpicking because they thought you were. Your energy is conveying back what? No matter how much time has passed, we communicate still in the silence. The silence is an illusion of this earthbound place. We are always one. Oh, you know you're connected to this person, but not in the way you want to be. Mm -hmm. Not in the way you would like for it to be. But you do feel a connection. There's there's something. About, and it's like I said, this person's energy. Yeah, there's a part of you that quickly goes, oh, God, yeah, another opportunity <laughs> to, to play this game with them. Because I know I can win it. But you, you quickly, quickly bring yourself back to center and uh, no mm -mm, i'm not doing this anymore because it's, it's almost like titillating 
it's addictive to play this game with this person, but you're not allowing yourself because you're moving on. Mm -hmm. Hope that was helpful, Leo. Y'all stay blessed. Hi, Virgos. Welcome to your reading. Guys, we are doing uh, who and what's coming your way, but mm, Virgo, mm, word from spirit. Mm -hmm. Would you rather feel right or feel good? Do you really need to be right? Do you really need to feel like you're you're right, or do you, you just want to feel good? Hmm. I have no clue what that means. Y'all have to take it as it comes, guys, because every time I try to do a reading, you know, I'm sitting down and the Spirit's chiming in with messages for everyone. So, yeah, that's what comes through on yours. So, you take it as well. Let's go ahead and jump into the energies that's coming towards you. Yes, let's find out what they're bringing with them. Predominant energies coming in towards my Virgos, please. Where's the energies? That's coming in and around my Virgos. Am I feeling that? I'm feeling it. How many are there? Two. I used you. I used you. I want you no strings attached. Bottom of the deck. Things got too messy. Things got too messy. Bottom of the deck energy. I used you. I want you no strings attached. Wow. Let's get to a person's energy, their perception of you and your energies. I want to see what they think is going on with you. Their perception of my Virgos. Thoughts and feelings that are forming their idea of Virgo. The image of the, they got for Virgo. Emotionally void, acting cold and distance, detached. In denial. Refusing and ret retracting statements, contradictions, and dismissive. Uh, right now, yeah, you, 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 mm -mm. <laughs> you, yeah, you ain't going there with this person. They seem to know it. Let's do turnabout on this person. Let's find out your perception of them. This is my Virgo's perception of this person. How does Virgo perceive them right now? Lost soul. Ooh, lost soul. And ghosted, leaving abruptly. Ooh, disappearing with no trace. Out of the norm behavior. Nope, disappearing with no trace. Or either, if if ghosting wasn't the, a factor in this, guys, which I got a feeling it is, this person's invisible to you because you feel like, you know, yeah. Yeah, they're not, they're, you know, you don't, you don't have too many thoughts about them. Bottom of the deck, we've got addictions. Mm -hmm. Unhealthy, negative attachments, codependencies, self-destructive, reckless behavior. Bottom of the deck, guys, is combined energies. Um, and it could, you know, be pointing out something they're addicted to, something you was addicted to. Some of us are addicted to drama. <laughs> Or just feel like I'm addicted to the wrong person. Uh, always attracting the wrong person. Let's put it that way. So, but that is combined energies uh, that we both brought into the connection. Mm -hmm. Let's get a little bit more here when it comes to this connection. I used you. I want you no strings attached. True love. Separation. Coming down the middle. Chemistry, we had chemistry together. Job, career, finances were factored and release your ex. Mm -hmm. For some of us, we have children involved. Mm -hmm. Somehow, you know, whether we have children together or not, we may have children from other relationships. So the one thing, the chemistry brought out this. The addiction. It's not so much of the uh, the strong magnetic attraction, yeah, but there was some, you know, something about it that, you know, the chemistry, it's the substance I'm addicted to, is showing a separation, and the fact that there wasn't the appearance of true love, true love, mm -hmm. or we thought there was true love, and that may be why. Um, were upset because you know the person coming in I used you I didn't want to get serious I didn't want to have strings attached because I was using you 
Hmm. Let's go ahead and see the energies forming this week. Any actions they want to take. Desires for action they want to take. Just show us their energies. What's formulating in their energy. We've got a Ten of Swords. Ten of Wands. Seven of Swords. They're wanting to communicate it. Mm -hmm. Jab at us. Their wishes. For some reason, like I said, guys, uh, there was the appearance of true love. We thought there was true love. But this person is like, I've been hurt. I went the distance. I know it's over because we're at the tens. Uh -huh. But it would still be nice to get back at you somehow. My true wishes. Let's find out the true wish. Um, yeah. Because they're wanting to communicate it. The victory card on an ace. The chariot card. It's a battle. Walking away. Ace of Pentacles. Mm. The person having a hard time leaving this because they're stuck in, the, in, in their energies of uh, feelings, emotions. They're stuck in their emotions about things, but there's a part of them what's, what's formulating and what's in their psyche is, I know I need to walk away. Just drop it and walk away because it's over. There's been too much deception and scheming, mind games, that kind of thing going on. But there's a part of them that really wish they could reach out and talk to you this week. Just say something. Uh, their true wishes is to keep the battle going instead of wa walking away from it and starting something new. They just want it, They want to keep it going. Mm-hmm. They want to keep keep it going. The no strings attached are stuck in the energies of it instead of moving on. Let's see uh, Virgo's energy this week when it comes to this person. Virgo's energies and responses around this energy. We've got a nine of wands, breaking bad habits, but also got your guard up. I've been there. I've done that. What do I have control over? What do I not have control over? And let me go with it. It's an emperor energy that's been through a battle. Uh, and learn some lessons. The four of wands. Things didn't work out as planned. There was. We really didn't have each other's back. I thought we did. I thought we were on solid ground. But I've ended up with a heartache. Uh -huh. Everything I suspected. Is sort of come true. I'm seeing the truth now. The justice card. Balancing myself back. And getting real with myself. There may actually be children involved. Because we got children that would be factored in and judgment card what's best when it comes i have children i need to focus on and i'm moving forward so yeah mm, the young young empress energy is a three of wands energy uh it's got us selling set, set and sell towards something different and we are look manifesting bottom of the deck is a magician card mm -hmm. one way or another i'm going to move forward and I'm not sure it will be in this connection, guys. Uh -uh. <laughs> oh, yeah. And remember the word that come in was, would you rather feel right? Would you rather feel right? That's ace up here. Um, they want to feel right. They may come back and say, you did this, you did that. Let me point out how you stabbed me in the back and blah, blah, blah. Do you want to be right and get into that kind of conversation with them, into that energy with them? Or do you want to feel good? This is good. Moving away. No, no. <laughs> I'm already said so. You don't need to be right. Mm -mm. Every, you know. I don't know how else to explain that. Okay, let's go ahead and we're using Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, Speak as One. Let's get their higher energetic conversation, what their energy is trying to convey to you, get you to understand. Sometimes the things we hang on to and perceive have value are not what really matters. Love is the highest, most valuable energy of all. So the person is dealing with you know, trying to let go of the past. Quit holding on to what was import, important, what they perceive. <laughs> the Ten of Swords, the Ten of Wands. And you're responding back, your energy is responding back. I am fine by myself, but we are better together. I'm hearing shuffle one more. 
on your energy. Hang on, guys. Let's see what else you're trying to bring out here. Let's move this to the eighth dimension. Raise it up. Raise it up. Ooh. Okay. Hope that was helpful, Virgos. Y'all stay blessed. Hi, Libras. Welcome to your reading. Guys, I'm sitting down with your energy, trying to tap into your energy. Spirit chimes in with, are you tuning yourself to injustices or to your own well-being? Are you focused too much on injustice of something or things in the world and not paying attention to your own well-being and how it's making you feel? Hmm interesting let's jump into this let's see the energy is coming in towards you this week and what this energy is bringing with it let's see who's coming in your way predominant energies that are coming towards my libras what's this person's energy what's going on with their energy we've got i still feel you with me hmm I still feel you with me, bottom of the deck. I want you no strings attached. Oh, undercurrent energy. Um, we definitely got somebody, you know, past, could be recent past or present, not sure, um, that's fearful of commitments of being manipulated, but they are still feeling you with them. Hmm. Let's jump in. Let's see some more of the energy here. Let's see their perception of you and your energies. What what are they perceiving about my Libras? <clears throat> their perception of Libras. Thoughts and feelings. What's coming out? What's coming out? Mm. Detachment. Mm. Not expressing feelings. Mm. Unable to connect on an emotional level. What else? Lack of self self-improvement like a self-improvement i'm getting one more here a runner guys i'm not picking this up is so much they focused in on your energy they do feel like yeah you may be closed off to their energy right now um not seeing one one's wrong this is more of their energy their self-perception uh their thoughts criticism over their self their self-check is coming in here because I really feel they're in, in the runner mode. The closest we can get to their perception of you is the detachment. You've already detached from me, but I can still feel you. Can you still feel me? Do you even think about me kind of energy? We're seeing more of them describing their self, opinionating about their self. Let's, let's tap into your energy for a minute, your perception of this person. What do, you, what do you see or what did you see going on with this person? They ghosted, runner, yeah, ghosted. Ooh, disappearance, uh-huh, and downward spiral, downward spiral. Mm, retreating back, yeah. Mm, pet peeves, ooh, irritated easily, list of annoyances, frequent complaints on the bottom of the deck. Oh, okay. With that one, guys, um, that's energy that we bring into the connection together. Together. It's both of our energies in some form or another. Um, so use it as will of. But I really feel like this person runs. They don't want to annoy you. They don't want to come across as annoying, that kind of thing. I don't know how else to put it. It's almost like saying part of their trauma from past is somebody was always annoyed with them. Everything they did, a list of annoyances, frequent complaints. Hmm. Okay, let's keep going here. <clears throat> let's see if we can get some more of the energies for my Libra and the person that's coming in. Show us more of the energy between them. We've got something on the bottom. We've got passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Ooh, passion. Ooh, there was an attraction, but it's like you need to decide clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now very soon won't somebody to make a decision but somebody ran mm -hmm. it's time to take back control of your life because it felt out of control 
Is there anything else? I feel like I, keep, I need to shuffle more to see what else is coming out. It's for some of us, we may have children involved. Or if there's no children involved, the person that ran the person's energy, they may feel like they're immature pet peeves. They carry in shadows from the past. Uh -huh. Let's keep going here. Wait. Bottom of the deck, unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. That and, and just a reminder, guys, for some, you know, however it fits for you, both of you are bringing that energy in to the connection. The unrequited is it a question of it? Uh -huh. Lack of attraction or chemistry. Uh -huh. Go ahead and see the desire for actions this week. Any actions they may take or just what is formulating in their energy field about you, towards you. We've got a queen of pentacles. Ooh. Magician. Six of Swords, Time of Uncertainty. I don't know where I'm headed, and I ran. And just with this, it's showing me that they do have a curiosity, and they are looking for a way or trying to figure out a way. The Magician card is figuring out how to find out some details about you, uh, what's going on with you, because there's this, I don't know what's going on with you, and I ran, and this is the Time of Uncertainty. Um because I ran, I don't feel like I can just call you up or message you and, and see what's going on with you. But they would like to. So that's formulating their, in their energy of how can I find out something? You know, how, you know, can, do you have a Facebook? Things like that. They would be looking on social medias or, you know, just, just trying to figure out what's going on with you. The curiosity to know, but feeling like they don't have a right to actually message you because they ran your energies this week towards them you've got an aquarius energy going on you got your masculine energy going on you've been in a battle with this person <laughs> you got your yeah you feel a little battle with weary of it your judgment tell me more about your judgment mm, friends friends yeah uh with this one guys it's like yeah i got you know i would be friendly towards this person Th that's about it but that's where it's going to stay uh your judgment seems to have changed uh seven of pentacles it's confused something about that is confusing to you though because you've got a, a physical attraction towards the person this is a leo energy showing up um, and, and the confusion may be, um, you just not sure. Do they want to just be friends? What do they want? They seem to be in, in your energy. They seem to be sending mixed signals to you. Uh, -huh. mm -hmm. but you're trying to use your head and, in, and, in, in, you know, stay in control of what you can of, you know, this person is fickledy. I don't know how else to put it. Fickle. All over the place with their, their desires. They don't know what they want. What else? Strength card. Poised and grace. We've got Leo energy coming in heavy. Heavy. Uh, for some of us. Or a fire energy. Because they're, they're, they're viewing you. Even though you're in air energy. They're viewing you as... You know, this queen of earth kind of energy. You're grounded. You're stable. You're, you're realistic about things. Uh, so, yeah. Ooh. They, the, so, this week, the only real thing is showing, guys, is them trying to figure out how they can find out what's going on with you um, since they ran. Mm -hmm. Bottom of the deck, we got a ten of cups. That's... Uh, Happiness, y'all know that. Success in every area of life. Ace of One, there was an opportunity for real happiness, but somebody walked away. Oh, and you might be reconsidering now. Oh, and the Six of Wands. Ow. Star card. I'm crippled towards my north, my north node. Uh, when I say crippled, I'm reading their energy, not yours. New love, I would love to. I would love to. North Star, I would love to. But I feel crippled in it. Codependent kind of energy. I ran away from it. 
there was a real opportunity for true happiness here. Ooh, okay. So yeah, I'm reading a lot more of the more of their energy from the bottom of the deck of current energy on them. Let's go ahead. We're going to use divine feminine, divine masculine, speak as one. Let's see your higher self conversation. What what their energy is hoping you will pick up and interpret without them having to say it to you and what you are responding back with. What are they saying to my Libras from the higher perspective? True love is worth hanging on to. The vibration of that, but I let go of any attachment to outcome. They're afraid of commitments. No string attached. What are you saying back? What are you saying back to this person? This is a flame that will always be present. What to do about it is the only question. I got one more for you that coming off the bottom of the deck. No matter how much time has passed, we communicate still in the silence. The silence is an illusion of the earthbound place. We are always one. Guys, what kind of connection was this with this person? Because you're feeling it too. I still feel you with me. They feeling it on an energetic level, no matter how far apart you are or anything else. They feeling it. And you feeling it too. Wow. Libras, guys, I hope that was helpful. <laughs> Y'all stay blessed. Hi, Scorpios. Welcome to your reading. Guys, let's see what the energy is coming in towards you this week and what it's bringing with them. Uh-huh. Who and what's coming towards you. Before we get started, guys, uh, Spirit seems to be wanting to chime in this week on messages. So the message that uh, I got when I started tapping into your energies, focusing directly on your energies, is hate is dislike. Hate is dislike, not dislove. Mm. You can't hate someone until you love them. Because <laughs> I don't know how to put it. When somebody were in that, I hate you. It means I don't like you right now. It doesn't mean I don't love you. Mm -mm. Love is not an on off. It doesn't have an on off switch. Uh -uh. Like does, but not love. So, hate is dislike not dislove let's jump in let's get the energies coming in towards my scorpios this week please energies coming towards my scorpios may even be already around because i'm seeing something swirling around you it may already be there energy i'm not gonna lie commitment scared <laughs> Commitment scared me. Ow, somebody felt like they were dangling out there. I wrote you text, but never sent them. I wrote you. I wanted to say something, and I tried many times, but I backed out, backed out. Mm. Okay, let's get the person's energy, their perception of my Scorpios, their thoughts, their feelings about the energies they're reading off of my Scorpios right now. Where do they see Scorpio? Their opinion of what's going on with Scorpio, maybe? Ooh. We might pick up their fear, though. Ooh. No enthusiasm. Care, carelessly lazy. Indifference with no determ determination. It's more of their fear, guys. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. It's not so much their perception of you as how they think you are perceiving them. And procrastination, indecisive, and hesitation, no movement. So they really aren't uh, able to focus in on what they think is going on with you. Mm -hmm. Because they're so worried and focused in on what the, they think you think is wrong with them. So we got their fear mm -hmm, of how you're seeing them. Let's go ahead and, and tap into your energy and see... Uh, perspective of their energy how you're viewing them how you're viewing them i don't think i'm gonna ask no i don't need to ask for your fear i need to see your perception suspicious time away options okay with your perception of them you do see them as you know suspicious motives not clear yeah and they and they are suspicious of your motives. Always looking, reading into uh, what what you're doing, and making something out of nothing is what I hear. Time away, they will withdraw. They will withdraw. 
but it's it makes you it's making you wonder uh, are they keeping options open are they talking to other people bottom of the deck is our energies that we bring in together in the connection silent treatment we're not really talking through things or feel comfortable to talk through things about all of this so yeah let's go ahead and keep going here let's jump into more of the energies in this connection for my scorpios for my scorpios show us some more of the energy here i feel like there's deception somebody's got a mask on and sometimes deception and blatantly lying it's trying to cover up and pretend or put on an image of something we're not uh, make an effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. We, yeah, I mean, we got feelings for this person, and, and it seems to be that we would work through it. New love. Hmm. Romance of a lifetime. Romantic feelings. Sturge of romantic feelings. Why did I say of a lifetime? Ooh, worth waiting for. Staying optimistic on the bottom of the deck. We're both trying to stay optimistic. Remember, it's combined energy. So we are, you know, it's it's new, it feels unfamiliar, and for some of us, it'd be like, you know, we're just, we having a hard time really showing our vulnerabilities with each other in those deeper conversations, but both of our energies seem to be, it's, it's worth hanging on to and trying to stick with it. Huh. Remember, hate is not dis hate is dislike not dislove if somebody says and oh guys do y'all need to explain that one to someone <laughs> like this person uh just because i don't like something doesn't mean i don't you know care that kind of thing it's just dislike it's not dislove oh what fell out Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, opportunity to really build through to something happy long term here. It's opportunity, tangible opportunity. Remember, hate is dislike, not dislove. Okay. Let's go ahead and see their energies this week. What are they formulating? Any actions, any desires? Got a Queen of Wands. Ooh, trying to stay positive about things. Full card. <laughs> yeah, what are they doing? Sagittarius Knight. Which way are they running? Sun card to the happiness. Ooh. Seven, seven of swords come out on that sun card. Okay. Full card. I'm going to, I'm taking a chance. I know it's risky. I'm running. Happiness. The face you put to the world. The ego. But there's a motive for it. Communications. Okay, what they're communicating. Okay, from what I'm seeing, guys, the, the only thing they're formulating in their energy right now is things feel risky. Mm -hmm, I feel vulnerable, the full card. But they're willing to take a chance. They do. Uh, they're, they're trying to come across as I got my shit together. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. We're getting fire energies up in here uh, with the person. Yeah. But they're covering up their true feelings with the happy face of, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm not affected by this when they really are affected by it. Ten of Pentacles on the bottom. Reputation. Uh, that Gemini Knight of Swords energy is more of a quick, challenging communications, a suave talker of let me put on a mask and pretend everything's okay when uh they're not okay they're not okay uh, there's something they want to say but they're afraid to say it, afraid to say it uh pay attention because i just looked here i wrote you texts but never sent them something the person may jokingly may joke about something whatever it is they're joking about is actually what they were trying what they're trying to communicate uh-huh okay so yeah they're going to try to yeah 
They want to talk, but they're afraid to talk. It's a challenge. So anything they say in a humorous way will actually have some seriousness to it. And that may be the doorway into opening up a conversation. Mm -hmm. Your energies this week. Three of Wands. Things are getting moving. Oh, we're moving towards a commitment here. We're making a decision. Ooh, the moon card. Getting to know each other on a deeper energetic level. You're getting a better understanding of this person and, and what's going on with, in their their energy. You're intuiting them very correctly. Because we're moving things forward. And things turn out a lot better. Uh, put, putting... We got your death card here. Death card is, you know, something dies away for something new to start. But it's also about transformation. You're taking some kind of action because you're reading this person. You're understanding their tactics, their love language. Like I said, pay attention to anything that they say in a humorous way. It's got seriousness to it. And that gives you the doorway to open up on uh, with them in a deeper way where they feel more comfortable. Oh, yeah. We've got some options going on here. Bringing it in and new love. Absolute new love. The person is, is will be, look at this. The, <laughs> not going not to lie, commitment scared me. Yeah, they're going to feel more naturally inclined to feel committed in this connection because they're not feeling so vulnerable like i could get hurt you're making it real easy for them i love this bottom of the deck uh, leveling up the solid ground the st stability of it oh we're moving into a comfort zone with this person yeah or we kind of moved into our comfort zone mm -hmm. let's go ahead and get some messages from your higher self so what is your energy conveying to each other Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, speak as one. Let's do their energy first. What's their energy conveying? I'm going to take everything I learned here and transform it into something else, something higher. The death card, guys, I love this. Something higher where I'm not so afraid. I feel more comfortable. I'm loving it. And you're responding back, I am fine by myself, but we are better together. I'm fine. I'm fine by myself, mm -hmm. but we are better together. I love that for y'all guys. That's beautiful. Scorpios, I hope it was helpful. Y'all stay blessed. Hi, Sagittarius. Welcome to your reading. We are doing who and what is coming your way. What energy is coming your way. Uh, when I sit down to focus in on your energy, meditate just a few seconds for your energy i got a message that come through probably from spirit mm -hmm. only look at and focus on what you like don't focus on the things you don't like look at and focus on the things that you like let's go ahead and jump into this let's get the energies coming in towards my sagittarius this week what is this energy bringing with them Yes, it's for my Sagittarius. Where is this person? The energy is coming at my Sagittarius this week. Coming at. I don't feel it already around you, but it's coming at you. We always find our way back together. Always find our way back together. Bottom of the deck, what's on that? I used you. I used you. Oh, so that's the undercurrent energy of what's on the, the the person's mind, what's in their psyche that, you know, they may not talk openly about. But I used to. We always find our way back together. Mm. Let's go ahead and jump into this energy. Let's get their perspective of you, their thoughts, their feelings, what they feel like is going on with your energy. How are they perceiving my Sagittarius right now? Pop, we've got Runner. Ew. <laughs> Ew, runner. Hang on. Pet peeves. Irritated easily. And self-sabotage. Not giving things a fair chance. You run. Uh -huh. You don't give things a fair chance. List of annoyances. When you feel annoyed, you, you run away from their perspective. Mm-hmm. Let's do for, uh, turnabouts, fire play. Let's find out your perception of them. 
what you're reading from their energy, what you think their energy is saying. They a joke stuff. Mm -hmm. Silly, playful, and immature. Likes to be center of attention popped off for me. Uh, love triangle. They got too, ooh. I want to say they got too many people, too many people that come along with them. Uh, I don't know if it's a romantic thing. It's like they, 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 you know, you know, try to have the, this, you know, non-committal kind of open relationships with a lot of people. I, I'm, I'm, there's something about it that it feels more like their other outside influences, family, friends, something like that. That's an influence, I'll say. Is there anything else from uh, Sagittarius's perspective? They, they come with baggage. <laughs> superficial, you feel like the per person is superficial. No depth of character. Underneath energy, the undercurrent energy in the connection is both of our energies. Uh, spiteful, cruel, and unkind words. Mm -hmm. Ooh, cruel and unkind words. Hmm. Let's keep going here. Like I said, that that's a mixture of both of our energy. Something we have in common that we can get switched off into that mode uh, of energy from both of us when when we're interacting with each other. Remember what what this said, guys. Remember what that said. Look at only and focus own what you like instead of what you don't like mm -hmm. see the predominant energy for this connection where has it been we've got some trust issues mm -hmm. trust issues or uh, in play passion mm -hmm. now your heart and soul to sing with joy wanting to allow our heart and soul to sing with joy but it may not have because of the underlying trust issues and there's this constant sense of free yourself. Take back control of your life. Keep, okay, so in, in all honesty, we've got each other at a distance. At a distance. Mm -hmm. Bottom of the deck, worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. We're holding out hope a little bit on this. Mm -hmm. Express your love. Holding out hope that we will learn to communicate more of a loving kind of energy towards each other. Hmm. See any actions uh, where the energy's at with your person this week? Are they going to take any actions? Just what's formulating in their psyche, in the energy uh, they're bringing towards you? What's going on there? We've got stuck hangman seeing things from a different perspective. Oh, they want a little bit of pity. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, bad habits. A nine of wands energy is battle weary um, energy. The wounded warrior, as they say. But sometimes it can have us battling our own bad habits. Um, let's see what else. King of Swords, Aquarius energy. Ooh, trying to be strategic here and find the right words to say. But something about there, they're trying to see things from a different perspective. Like I said, the undercurrent is them acknowledging, you know, yeah, I used you for something. I was, yeah, I wasn't being considerate of you, was I, <laughs> kind of energy. Uh, but it, uh, it's also showing them stuck, stuck in doing the same thing over again. Pity me, woe me, that kind of thing. And uh, when they really know they need to step up and acknowledge some of the habits, the routines of how they deal with things, that, that is, you know, take responsibility for their part. Let's put it that way. And they're coming in with an ace of wands. Passion. Hmm. So, ooh. Tell me more. Tell me more because this is insinuating they're not really taking responsibility for this. Like you know, I use you kind of energy because this is this. I really picked up the physical, the heated, the passion, chemistry on this of whoa, I'm so pitiful kind of energy. Let's let's have some physical healing going on for me now. Is that how they're using you? Make yourself feel better, Aquarius energy. Hold on, <laughs> Aquarius. Ooh. 
future emperor. Mm, okay. Bottom of the deck. They'll be running when it's over. Uh, just just use caution, caution because they are going to try to have physical intimacies with us and, and sweet talk us into it. Uh-huh. But they don't realize uh, that they will, you know, may come in talking with, you know, plans for the future, what's, what the future holds, the potential for the future. And then they sort of know what they're doing. They're th this masculine emperor energy. Let me feed you <laughs> my golden apple here. Uh, and then boom, it, it, it doesn't come through because right afterwards they would be off and running again. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Sagittarius, <laughs> Sagittarius, let's see your energy uh, in response to the energies they're bringing at you or sending towards you. You got eight of pentacles, devotion and dedication to work through something. You're a little emotionally overwhelmed. Uh, you like what they're offering, what they're saying, but you know you need to, to stand at a crossroad and stay on the fence about it. Um, but it's just a little bit too much for you. It's showing you very emotionally connected to the person, and they, can, they know how to tell you what you want to hear. Mm -hmm. And yeah, because they're talking the Ten of Pentacles, but bottom of the deck you know you're going against your own judgment with this person we may have just you know like this little bit of i can't resist them kind of energy going on when we know we need to resist them and, and stand in that too of swords energy of you know let's don't take any action with them this week <laughs> uh that kind of thing but it also, the two of swords can show you standing in. I'll, you know, I'll deal with it later because they're making me feel so good. <laughs> they're making me, I feel so good about this kind of thing. We get a little bit drunk mm -hmm. when we need to, to not drink or eat. Don't eat the golden apple, guys. What do they say? Come to the dark side. We have cookies. Don't eat them damn cookies. They're laced with poison. <laughs> yes. Gonna get delusional with that stuff. Don't eat them. Oh, guys. So, it just, just, you know, just know they're coming at you and they want some physicalness, but then they'll be off and running again uh, afterwards. Let's see what your higher selves are communicating to each other with this deck. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, speak as one. Let's let your person speak first. Let's see what their energy is conveying to you from a higher level. What are they wanting to say to my Sagittarius? We got it. I am fine by myself, but we are better together. We are, I'm fine by myself. I like my freedom, but we are better together. When we do come together, it's good. You're saying back to them what? What's your energy conveying? It's not that I don't care. I care very much. Even if you are not aware of that, I have I have just released this to a higher perspective, guys. This is the I'll 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 take action. I'll do what I know I need to do the next time, but not this time because it feels too good. Mm -hmm. I hope it was helpful, Sagittarius. And remember, guys, only only look at and focus on what you like hmm is that what we're doing blinding ourselves? i don't know you have to decide because that's what i got before we ever started the reading are you blinding yourself of i'll deal with it later i just want to go with the feeling of it the two of cups energy it feels so good right now i don't want to be logical do I want to really listen to my judgment? <laughs> temperance, guys, up under judgment. Temperance, Sagittarius, guys. Okay. I hope it was helpful, guys. Y'all stay blessed. Hi, Capricorns. Welcome to your reading. Guys, we are doing who and what's coming your way this week. Yes. I'm going to tap into that energy. But, um, word that come in when I started your meditations, probably from spirit, guys. It just, I'm open to wherever it comes from message for capricorn hateful people are suffering you're not expected to enter into that suffering with them you're not obligated 
and I uh, drew the heart of gratitude you on that you are not obligated to enter into someone else's suffering mm -hmm. hateful people are suffering hateful people for some reason it come out as hateful people let's go ahead and jump into the energies working its way towards you this week and for some of us i do feel the energies already around us because i can sense a swirl of energy around you of someone else's energy around you let's get the energies this week capricorns what are they coming in with uh, my new person looks like you. Uh oh, bottom of the deck. Well, we got. I can't stand the distance between us. We got mm, 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 somebody trying to jab and hurt our feelings. Uh huh. Somebody that's being what? Hateful. <laughs> oh, hateful. Uh, because they're suffering. Somebody's being mean because they're suffering. You're not expected or obligated to step into that with them. Let's keep going. Um, they can't stand the distance and they're doing anything to get you, to trigger you to get the uh, energetic connection back with you. Even if it's, you know, not a physical connection with you, the energetic, I just know that I, I'm still on your mind. <laughs> that you still think of me one way or another. Let's go ahead and tap this person's energy. Let's see their perception of my Capricorn. How are they perceiving my Capricorns? What are they saying to themselves? What's their opinion about their thoughts and feelings when it comes to Capricorn? No, I'm feeling them, guys. Hang on. We got one on the bottom. But I don't want that full shuffle. You're overly confident. Yeah, because you're doing so well without me. Oh, ouch. Memory loss. Also, they put memory loss on you. Pretending to forget the details um, breaking past promises. Now, that one's standing off big time. Breaking an oath or a promise. I felt like you had had torched me. Choosing to hide the facts. Mm. Let's do turnabouts fair play, guys. Mm -hmm. Let's get your perception of this person's energy. What do you know about this person? Your perception of them. Your thoughts, your feelings about this person. My Capricorn's thoughts and feelings. We've got, they keep their options open. Mm -hmm. Not ready to settle down, commitment phobe, and indecisive about things. Indecisive. They're unreliable, not dependable, fickle, flighty, unpredictable, erratic behavior, also in love triangle. They, yeah, mm -hmm. Okay, we're keeping it. Mm -hmm. With that one, I ain't got nothing to say. Uh, to, it come out on two other readings, but it, it come in more as there was family, uh, kids, things like that. That, you know, the baggage that comes with somebody, the extras, the extra family. But this one, I'm not picking it up that way, uh, Capricorn. I'm picking it up off of you as they act, they do. They keep their options open. They play, they play around. Uh, they don't commit to anything, but then they won't uh, act like you're supposed to commit to them. I'm like, what happened? Did your mama drop? Did their mama drop them on their head when they was a baby too hard? Might not be able to fix that one. Mm -mm. Could could have caused permanent brain damage. Y'all know me. I'm joking. I'm sarcastically joking because I'm tapped into some energy on you. Of like, yeah, that's about right. Mm -hmm. Bottom of the deck, we've got oblivious. No conscious knowledge or awareness. Poor memory. Clueless and ignorant. Now, the one thing I want to say about the energy on the bottom of the deck is that's the energy we bring in towards each other when we interact. And we both might be, you know, seriously looking at each other. They may be looking at you going, you're oblivious to it. You're just clueless. And you're looking at them going, I know you are. <laughs> yeah, that's the combined energy there. Let's get, uh, I was getting ready to pull the wrong deck, y'all. Mm. Let's get a little bit more of the energies on this connection. This is for my Capricorn's predominant energy on this connection. What's going on? Codependency. Codependency. Uh -huh. Codependency is just, I need, I need, I'm needy, needy. What else? And trust issues were in the connection. Mm. Lack of faith. Love yourself first. 
Mm -hmm. Coming down the middle or in the center of that. Love yourself first. It makes you more romantically attractive. So take that as you will because that may be you making a decision of, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to love myself. I'm, I'm giving love to myself instead of this person. But it seriously may be you, also you picking up where this person don't actually have a lot of self-love. And know it. Bottom of the deck, we got to keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual typing expectations. That's predominant energy in the connection of knowing we're not really each other's type. It's like opposites have attracted here, and we tried to keep an open mind uh, to it. Mm -hmm. That's my, like I said, the uh, bottom of the deck is both of our energies combined in one way or another. Mm. Let's go ahead and see the energies this week on your person. What are they formulating in their energy field when it comes to actions or desires towards you? What is formulating in their little heads? Judgment. Temperance. Oh, look at all the major arcana star card. You're my destiny. <laughs> yes, the future. Mm -hmm. Sun card. Three is a crowd. Three is a crowd. I'm happy. <laughs> Devil cards confirming it all for me on the bottom of the deck. So the, in a major way, guys, you have affected this person in a major way. Mm -hmm. They're jabbing at you. They're being hateful. They're being mean. My new person looks like you. Mm -hmm. When, yeah, reality is... I mean, they know they're, they're going off of either you rejected them, that kind of thing, because they're coming in with this. It's all your fault. You are my destiny. Mm -hmm. But look now, I changed my mind. Mm. Three's crown. They're playing around with somebody else. But look at the major arcanas of you affected them and imprinted on them in a heavy way. I don't know how else to put it. The impression is not going to just go away overnight for them, no matter who they're with. Because the, I'd imagine the person they're messing with wouldn't like to see that comment, would they? <laughs> no, no, because that's their inner demon. Mm -hmm. The inner demon is something that, you know, devil card is like, I'm, I'm in prison to, to you. You're my, you're my poison. I'm addicted to you. And I want your attention one way or another. And I, if I have to be hateful because I'm suffering, I just need you to have me on your mind. I need to know. How oh, your energy in response back this week. Let's see what your energy is doing this week in response. You devil energy for oh rest, recuperation, recovery. I done recovered. I'm on the wagon. I ain't getting back into it because you in private mode and Queen of Swords. You cut them off really quick with that Libra energy and it's over. You know it's over. Ooh, anything else? Ooh, five of wands. I'm, oh, I like, okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, hermit Virgo energy on the bottom of the deck. We're definitely not talking to each other, but we are in our higher self, in our higher moving on what I need to do following our own light. With this person, you've, you've cut your, you've cut toxic ties to this person. You you deal with it with your head, not your heart, because a lot has changed for you. A lot, you've tra transformed, transformed, yeah, transformed something else. You've done some alchemy. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. Because it's put you in a whole different world than this person. And you've done put down. I will not pick that competing back up for you. Again, I will not. I've been through the battle of competing for your love, your time, and attention. I'm not doing it again. Competition on the five of wands and for a minute we did compete and it was toxic for us and we're not doing it again there's your energy you're standing in your power this week very good energy i like seeing that and remember hey fool people <laughs> are suffering you are not expected to enter into that suffering with them you are not obligated in any way 
to have to respond to this person. Let's go ahead and see what your higher selves, uh, each of your energies is communicating to each other on that energetic level. We're using divine feminine, divine masculine, speak as one. Mm -hmm. Let's get what their higher self is saying to you. What are they really trying to convey to you or wish they could? Because we're doing it from a higher perspective. We've got, I am fine by myself, but we are better together. They know. They know. Uh -huh. I, wait, wait. I'm being told to shuffle again. Shuffle again on their energy. So they want to say something else. I wish we could, could and would choose each other and show each other a higher love that is unconditional, different, and not constrictive and truly freeing. Okay, let's go ahead and, and see the response from your energy back to them. What are you responding back to their energy with? Mm, not feeling that one. Hang on. Talk to us. Talk to me. Or talk to me. Talk to me. Yes. I honor, honor our time together and release you to your highest and best. In so doing, I release myself as well. Yeah, this is what I was saying. Your energy this week is you and your power of, you already made a final decision. The hammer come down. You're not changing your mind because it took you a minute to actually recover from the toxicity this per per person had put you in. And there is the toxicity of you trying to compete and you're like no i'm not competing i'm not i'm not competing for love what's on the bottom of the deck to gracefully let go of control and allow the universe to do its thing one must trust in the divinity of this connection and i do i release it i release it i like that capricorns i hope it was helpful guys y'all stay blessed Hey Aquarius, welcome to your reading. Guys, when I sat down in meditation and started focusing in on your energy, a message come through for you. Mm -hmm. It's for Aquarius. Chain of pain. The phrase, chain of pain, come through. The chain is only a paper ribbon. No scissors required to cut it. It's only a paper ribbon. It's not a chain. No scissors required to cut it. Ooh, interesting. Let's go ahead and jump in. Let's see whose energy is coming your way this week. The energy is coming at my Aquarius. Whose energy is coming at my Aquarius? I do feel like it's coming at you, that it's not already around you. Okay. Let's see this person's energy, what's on their mind, what's in their energy, what... Are they bringing in with them? I'm leaving them for you. I'm leaving them for you. I'm, mm. It hurts seeing you love someone else. It hurts seeing you love someone else. Chain of pain. The chain is only a paper ribbon. No scissors required to cut it. It's not that complicated to cut the ties. I'm leaving them for you. Ooh, however that fits for you guys. I'm going to go ahead and see this person's perspective of your energies. Their thoughts, their feelings about what's going on with you in your psyche. How are they reading your energies? What, what image do they have of what's going on with you? How are they seeing my Aquarius this week? Oh, not feeling them, but look, guys. <laughs> it might be confirmation for someone of uh, we're resisting, we're resisting, being resistant. Let's see. We've got, yeah, you very resistant. Look, we got a chain, don't we? <laughs> yes, we got a chain protecting oneself. Uh huh. Anything else on the energy? Control freak. Ooh, likes to be in power. Taking back power is what I'm hearing, not so much of a control freak. What was on the bottom of the deck? Apology. Sorry, but not sorry. I always see this one for some reason when she's looking like, I am so sorry to have to tell you the truth like this, but I'm not sorry because it's the truth. <laughs> yes. Let's go ahead and do turnabouts, fair play. Let's see your perspective of them, your perception and perspective of them, your thoughts, your feelings, and your opinion about this person. 
What does my Aquarius have? What have they formulated? What do they know about this person now? <laughs> We've got something. We've got that. We know there's no compatibility. Zero chemistry is being brought up in here. Mm, no mutual interest or friends. Lack of understanding and respect. That's. It's not so much the zero chemistry. It's more the, the second two statements. Um, the lack of... Lack of understanding and respect is what's really popped for me. Anything else uh, that your energy wants to say about this person? Got yeah. Mm -hmm. It's been surface level. No real conversations. No real nothing. Mm -hmm. And it's starting to make you feel like a little lost. Or was starting to make you feel like you're a little lost. But at the same time, your perception of them are or is or was they're lost they're unsure <laughs> unsure of the way forward bottom of the deck guys in combined energies anytime i use bottom of the deck when i'm reading for connections is both of your energies mm -hmm. discreet communications um secret text things like that mm -hmm. talking on the down low keeping it under covers Let's go ahead and tap some more of the energy here and see what else has been in the connection with this person in my Aquarius. What else? Oh, pop. Hang on. We had a honeymoon effect going on. Bliss. A bliss time. We spent some time together. It was bliss. Oh, we loved it. We did. Mm-hmm. Uh, it made us want more. Made us want more of that with each other. And we were hoping to really get a commitment here. Bottom of the deck, though. Let your friends help you out. Ask for and accept support from others. For some of us, uh, simply this simply can be that, that because it's bottom of the deck. We've both got someone we actually do and can talk secretively, undercover, about, 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 about each other. It, just think of a best friend. Uh, being told to shuffle again. Hold on. Let's see what's trying to come, come out here. A reconciliation's on the way. Mm -hmm. Reconciliating. Pay attention to the red flags on the bottom of the deck, though. Uh, we're using caution because uh, this is, like, like it says, their message here. I'm leaving them for you. It hurts to see you loving someone else, or it hurts at the thought of you loving someone else. So, yeah, uh, coming back together, but we are cautious about it. We are looking for red flags of, can I trust this? Can I trust you? Can I trust this? Can I trust myself? That kind of thing. Let's go ahead and look at the energies, any actions or desires towards you from this person this week. What is going on in their energy? What's formulating for this week? We've got a nine of swords. There's stress and anxiety. They've been studying on something really hard, trying to trust. Their loyalty is with you. Mm -hmm. mm, sacred union. Libra energy that maybe you're you're not open and receptive or they don't feel like you're open and receptive right now because of something they've done a will the will of fortune think karma but something has shifted this time for this person we've got an empress energy explain empress moon card subconscious and lover mm. Not telling me much, but for some reason, I, you know, I've seen, seen her belly out there. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, for somebody, you know, we, we may have, yeah, that going on. You know, a pregnant belly. But in all honesty, it's like, uh, things are moving fast. Communications from a distance, but things moving up, moving fast. What's up underneath it? The devil energy. The, whatever's been restricting and holding me back. Temperance been trying to trying to take moderation but i can't get over this a uh, taurus energy here for aquarius energy earth energy with this guys this might be that they were trying to keep trying to keep you hid hid 
but they can't do that anymore. It's like, no, I'm not, I don't want to keep doing this because that's, you know, that's not right. I don't want to do this. I want to get real because they're feeling this sacred union. Think of faith uh, meant to be. Uh, my heart's with you. My loyalty lies with you. Uh, when it comes to the hair font, we picked up two Taurus energies. That's earth energies. Uh, just so you'll know, we also picked up Pisces, Gemini. Mm -hmm. But I'm feeling more of, for some reason, whether it's their sign or not, they are getting more into an earth energy of, let me be real here. Let me be grounded and be real here. Mm, take the actions from realness. So there's a uh, stress and anxiety over here. Let's talk. Let's ask them. Let's ask about the nine. Oh, they want to end that stress. Mm -hmm. Change it. In Aquarius, there you are. Aquarius. Mm, they want to. They they want to quit stressing you. They feel like they're needlessly stressing you out, uh, and it's you know it's a stress on you, and and they're causing it, and they want they want it to stop because they're fully committed to you. Mm -hmm. You're what you seem to be what matters this week. Mm -hmm. Actions towards you, I have no clue other than this is what they're running off of. Uh, that that what's formulating any actions they take towards you, you get to see, you're getting to see what's motivating them of, I need to stop stressing Aquarius out. They're the one, the Aquarius is the one for me, that kind of thing. And yeah, karma that, with with those two's coming together, because it's almost a sense of, will, are you open and receptive to the, to me now? Because uh, they they may feel like the, you know they stalled too long with taking action, but they're taking action because it's like I'm I'm not putting you under covers in in the mystery in the dark anymore. I'm ready for the sun to come out and everyone see it and know it. Mm. Let's see your energy in response to them, Aquarius. We've got an Eight of Pentacles. Ooh, devotion and dedication. Holding back. I've been holding back. Mm-hmm. Reciprocity. You open to them. You, you, ah. There's almost a sense of you know that the, they're loyal to you. Their heart's with you. we got a Scorpio and Taurus energy. Second and eighth house energy in that... Yeah, we have already planted seeds for the future, a tangible seed for the future. And you and you're in the confidence, but you're this one is like I'm not allowing a nine outside influences to stress me out about it. I already know what's what, but this person don't realize that you are protecting yourself with your with your thoughts of I already know. I already know the reciprocity. I already know the love is there. Hmm. Bottom of the deck is options and choices. Uh, emotionally, a little bit emotionally overwhelmed. But there's a lot of options available to us and opening up to us with this connection now. And yeah, rest, recuperation, recovery, and putting ducks in a row, getting things straight. A lot of times I always call the four swords if you calm your mind down, uh, you take a break away from all the emotions of it, and your thoughts uh, just order themselves on what you do. Look, Aquarius, absolutely. And we're not letting go of because it's, we've found, you know, something that's precious to us. We are going through a time of uncertainty, but headed towards a new horizon with each other on this one. Oh, but your person is like feeling like they've stressed you to no end. So they are, their motives for any actions and stuff is to, seriously, they got you in mind, constantly in mind. Let's go ahead and get the energetic conversation going on between the two of you. Mm -hmm. Energetic is the higher energetic, you know, energy conversation. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, speak as one. Let's get them speaking first. Let's see what they want to say. What are the, What is their energy trying to convey to you? Got something. 
To introspect, go within, analyze, and sometimes overthink leads eventually to the simple fact that one cannot help the way one feels deep in their soul. One cannot ultimately run away from oneself. Ooh, running, trying, you know, your person is coming, like I said, there, everything on their energy is, I'm stepping into the truth, my truth, my feelings, I can't help it. Uh -huh. One more on them, I wish we could and would choose each other and show each other a higher love that is unconditional, different, not constrictive, and truly free and they want, yeah, they definitely want, like I said, they want to bring it out into the open, their connection with you. They want the world to know. They don't care who knows. Your energy is conveying back what? To be open to receive and to be open to give in a balanced way is what is needed here on both sides. To be open, open out in the open, guys, out in the open. That's, that's what the energy is building to this week is being out in the open. No more secrecies, no more, no more hiding each other, that kind of thing. I hope it was helpful, Aquarius. Y'all stay blessed. Hi, Pisces. Welcome to your reading, guys. We are going to get into who and what is coming your way this week. But when I sit down to focus in on your energy, mm -hmm, I got a message to you probably from Spirit. A new thing is possible with a new concept. A new concept makes something new, a new thing possible. A new belief about something that brings in a new thing. Uh -huh. Ooh, interesting. Let's go ahead and jump into your reading. Let's find the energies that are coming in towards my Pisces. And for some of us, I do feel like it's already around us. The person's energy is already around us. Just for my Pisces. Let's see. This person's energy. What are they bringing? We're getting two. Ooh. Has this one come popular this week in the readings? My new person looks like you. My new person looks like you. I can't stand the distance between us. We've got somebody trying to gouge at you. Or jolst at you. To make sure you've got them on your mind to get your attention in one way or another bottom of the deck let's see what's going on I'm not going to lie commitment scared me it scared me it scared me but with this one guys i mean in all honesty put it in per perspective if there was someone else <laughs> that someone else might not want to see that kind of message being sent back to you because they can't stand they can't stand the thought of you not thinking about them you're not feeling them up from the distance wow mm. okay mm -hmm. a new thing is possible remember your message a new thing is possible with a new concept a new belief about something and something new becomes possible Let's see this person's uh, perspective of you, their perception of you and your energy. We already tell what what it is because their uh, reactiveness this week. And they need to be a little cautious because if they actually do send that kind of message, there's a good chance that some, whoever they're with might find it because uh -huh, I felt like bringing it up. So that's an indication that yeah, they might not want to do that. Sorry, guys. I don't mean to bump the camera around. Their perception of you. They think you're a coward, unable to face issues head on. Ooh, you run from confrontation. Failing to be the bigger person about something. But what else? And that you're misleading. Yeah. Ooh. All right. Mm -hmm. Ew. False impression, not being upfront with holding of the truth. Yes. Misleading. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Bottom of the deck. I can't say the word. No enthusiasm. Carelessly lazy. Indifferent with no dis no determination. Indifference. You don't care. It's coming across more as you don't really care. <laughs> this person feels like you don't care. They need to know. You, they still own your mind. That you're still feeling them. Hmm. Even if it pisses you off. 
Oh, turnabout's fair play. Turnabout. Let's see Pisces. Perception of this person's energy. Pisces. What does Pisces know about this person? Oh, that they are stubborn and resistant. Because look, the, I don't feel none of those guys, but they won't go back in. So, indication for someone they are resisting. Very resistant, stubborn. Mm -hmm. What is Pisces' perception? Uh, they're unreliable. Spiteful. Anything else? Anything? Yes. And ghost. Oh, ghost. Mm hmm. Disappear with no trace. Run away. I'm here and run away. They're not reliable. They're spiteful. And out of spitefulness, they will ghost and disappear for a minute. But then they can't stand it because they can't stand the distance between you. They need to know you're still thinking about me. I've still got an effect on you. And bottom of the deck. Anytime we get bottom of the deck energy, it's combined energy. Lack of self-improvement. No self work or self-reflection not seeing one's wrongs in need of transformation mm -hmm. so that's what we bring in and you know in whatever way we might be thinking of each other in this way if you you need to work on yourself and they'd be looking at you going you need to work on yourself too mm -hmm. oh okay let's get some more of the energy this is for my pisces and their person this person that definitely wants to get on Pisces nerves or either in back into their heart or back into their bed one or the other <laughs> they just want to move they're still having some kind of effect on you let's see the energies that were in the connection we've got passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy at one time we did but there was a lot of red flags that come up signs that started cautioning us uh -huh. and ooh, let your friends help you out Ask for and accept support from others. I'm not taking that as asking for other than there was too many people in the connection because somebody uh, brought in friends or family that were in the business all the time. Trying to stay optimistic. So we did try to stay positive uh, about the connection with the person, but we may have lost it. <laughs> we may have lost that. I can't do it anymore because I need a new thing and a new belief. Uh-huh. Chemistry is on the bottom of the deck. Just be aware of that one. We do have a an effect on each other from a hormonal level. That might be really good. Yes. Magnetic pull and attraction. And then after it's over, we're like, I don't like you. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. But that was good. But I don't like you. Still don't like you. Let's see the energies uh, on your person. What's transpiring about desires and actions they would like to take towards you this week. Let's see what's building in their psyche. We've got Ace of Pentacles. They may come in with something tangible to offer or wanting to offer you something tangible. And they're hoping you're coming. They're coming in with open arms. Team friends. Oh, they're trying not to overdo it, whatever it is they're doing. But they're hoping you're going to embrace them when they offer you whatever this is. It could be a tangible gift. Uh -huh, they're, but they're trying to stay in control of it. They're hoping that will put us back on track to come back together. Mm -hmm. Battle weary, but also bad habits. Sometimes on the nine of wands, it can show where we are battling against our own uh, habits and routines of doing something or how we deal with something that's not really helpful. So let's see what else. Mm, three of pentacles. So yeah. They're, they're definitely coming in with something tangible. <clears throat> they're hoping there's going to be this exchange of, oh, God, I'm so glad to see you. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, for real. They're, they're hoping that you'll embrace them when they come in. They're trying not to go overboard on anything because this is a battle. <laughs> they, they're going to be persistent to try to get us back together on the blueprint back together and they want recognition for making an effort mm -hmm. your energy in response to this person oh you ain't taking what they're offering <laughs> you'd be like no i'm gonna let it pass by you're just not interested right now they're coming in as we got a page page of cups here mm -hmm. tell me about the page of cups mm. Oh, you want them to do more work. Yeah. 
okay, for, for some of us, because I'm like, they're coming in really, really naively immature, aren't they? Thinking they can pull something on us, but no, we want to see something better than that. Uh -huh, the Eight of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Leo, King of Wands energy. Maybe we're dealing with uh, air, uh, not air, fire, fire sign. Oh, because they they jumping through hoops to get your attention, guys. Um, the Three of Pentacles on their energy is applaud me something. Give me a pat on the back. Tell me I'm doing a good job. And this one is I want you to see me center stage. Are you paying attention? I love you. <laughs> energy. You like, you're over here, like I said, you're looking for... Um, a real improvement, not not just words, not just wishful thinking. Uh, and you're just not sure about the person. They've definitely got your attention. They do. But you're not taking what they're offering. You're not taking the cup because you want to see something more from them. Anything else? Yeah. Got your boundaries up and uh, it feels risky. I don't want to be foolish with the full card. Mm-hmm. Ooh, but you're meeting their energy and lightness. Uh, there's fire. And like I said, be wary this week because, Pisces, this is fire. This is, uh, you know, the physical attraction. <laughs> the lusty stuff's going to overtake us with this person this week. But there's a part of us that, you know, is like, you know, that's good. That's a good thing. But outside of the bedroom, it's not so good. And we want it to be good outside the bedroom also. Oh, let's go ahead and get the uh, higher energetic conversation between us. We're using Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, Speak as One. Let's see what their energy is trying to convey to you. Ooh, not half of the deck, but we will take that one. Half of the deck fell out, guys, for real. <laughs> let's move this to the eighth dimension. Raise it up. Raise it. Raise what up, guys? <laughs> My brain just went south to the chemistry. Oh, to the eighth dimension. Anything else that their energy is conveying? Because I took this in just the wrong. Y'all, it's X-rated. <laughs> so the way it's coming across to me. I accept things the way they are. Mm -hmm. But can we still? <laughs> Your energy is saying back what? I was not, it was not my intention to hurt you in any way. Triggering the wounds, even unintentionally, is part of this healing journey. Oh, we know we trigger them. Uh -huh. We know we trigger them. But, and it's like I said, the main thing this week to, to pay attention to is we're, t we're very tempted on the physical level. The physical. Mm -hmm. uh, bottom of the deck, I, didn't, mm -hmm. I looked at it, so we got to read it. I am understanding and tolerant of your process and of my own. I allow. I allow. Combined energy right there. As it's not over between us. There's unfinished business. And like I said, the person will say anything to get back on your nerves. They wish they could say something loving that would have you drunk in love with them. But they'll say anything to make sure they're still on your mind. They'll create any kind of drama to get a reaction from you. The triggering. Mm. Pisces, I hope it was helpful, guys. Y'all stay blessed.